Hi, Zach Dobson with this week's Friday Photo Tip. This week I'm starting a three-part series on aspect ratio. Uh, this is an important topic to photographers because it affects everything that we do from creating the image in camera to printing the image and posting on social media. All of this involves different aspect ratios and knowing how they work together can help you keep your vision intact across uh, all the platforms. This week I'm talking about the basics of aspect ratio and how it's connected to your camera. Next week will be about how aspect ratio affects printing photos and the final part will be about how it applies to posting your images on social media. I think most people have a general idea of what aspect ratio is. It's the shape of an image or screen, basically how the width relates to the height and the numerical value that's attached to that. The most popular type of camera is a 35 millimeter camera. It has an aspect ratio of three to two. 35 millimeter is a carryover from the film days. That was the size of the film. So anything that's called DSLR, um, typically the interchangeable lens cameras of kind of a normal size, those are what have that three to two aspect ratio. It's important to note that 3.2 refers only to the shape of the sensor itself. It has nothing to do with the actual size. What's called a full frame camera will have a 36 millimeter by 24 millimeter sensor. There's all sorts of smaller sizes that maintain that same aspect ratio. 4.3 is another common aspect ratio. Most phones are set default to 4.3. That's their native aspect ratio. A lot of times you can change them in your settings if you prefer something else, but that's where you're going to start out. Most point-and-shoot cameras are 4.3. More compact mirrorless cameras, um, so those tend to be interchangeable lens, but they're a little bit smaller. You might see them referred to as a four-thirds camera. One-to-one -one is the easiest one to comprehend. It's a square. Um, was really made popular these days by Instagram. So a lot more people are shooting in square uh, from the beginning instead of shooting wider and cropping it down. Also, a lot of cameras have a default square setting that you can swipe over to. 1-1 one, one is also a common aspect ratio for medium format cameras. 4 to 5 is not as common of an aspect ratio in cameras these days, but it's really that old style of camera that you see from a hundred years ago where the photographer would go under the cover and they'd have the big flash that they'd set off. That sort of camera was a four to five ratio. The reason that's still relevant today is it produced common sizes of eight by 10, 16 by 20 prints. So we still use those sizes a lot, even though most people don't have a camera that shoots in that aspect ratio. So it's not as relevant when shooting, but a lot of times you might have frames or people want something to fit in that size frame because it's so common. The last aspect ratio I'll mention is 16 to nine. This is most common with movies and modern television. It's the shape of most of the flat screen TVs you're buying. It's the same shape as your phone. Most video cameras in phones are set to default at a 16-9 aspect ratio. There's several other aspect ratios that are present in photography with different sizes of cameras, usually older cameras or film cameras or things like that, but they're not really relevant to a broader audience, so I'm going to focus on the ones that are most applicable to the people who'll see this video. For this week's ZDP Photo Challenge, you could try shooting with different aspect ratios in your phone or camera. Uh, most phones allow you to set different ones, especially if you have a phone app that has custom settings or a lot of modern cameras like my mirrorless camera allows me to take still images in different settings, uh, different aspect ratios. So try some different ones, mix it up. Use hashtag ZDP photo challenge. Let me see what you did. I'll check them out, like them, leave comments, share them in my stories. So I'd love to see those. That is all for this week. So thanks for stopping by and keep it real.